How's it going pirates and welcome to another video. Now today I do have something that I want to show you guys that I just received today and oh boy is it ever 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 amazing. Let's check it out. Now before we open this up, I actually do want to talk to you guys a little bit about my world building. So as some of you guys know, my story take, takes place in the Star Wars universe. Now part of the, the thing, and this is like with a lot of the current stations you see on IG and YouTube, is that we like to incorporate multiple IPs and universes into our world building. So you would have initially seen this kind of thing started, or at least... I would like to say started because he's the first one I was exposed to was Empire Toy Works uh, Rot Gut Station where you, you see some of his amazing work including his building, his custom work and figures and vehicles and you also see that he has a bunch of different IPs within this Rut Gut Station anywhere from Aliens to the Golden Girls you can find them at Rut Gut Station. So I kind of wanted to continue some of that type of trend. and But the way that I've done it is that I've actually incorporated that idea into my storyline. So Edgepoint Station is a giant Stargate. Now in the Star Wars universe, this is in Legends of course, there was a species called the Qua. Now they were responsible for building what's called or what's known as the Infinity Gates. The Infinity Gates allowed for instantaneous travel across the galaxy or, for that matter, across the universe. As long as you knew where you were going or at least the precise coordinates as to where you were going, you could get there in a the blink of an eye. Edgepoint Station is a Stargate that functions just like that. And that's how I was going to incorporate a bunch of different IPs into my universe. And that's also how in the next year, actually, I'll be starting another page called Titans of the Universe. That's actually part of this whole promise of the multiverse being connected through a Stargate that allows them all to come through into my universe to have a big tournament or fight tournament where there's only one Titan standing at the end and that Titan will become Titan of the Universe. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's coming in the, the new year. I did push that back to then as I have had some complications with my vision. And so there are days where I can't do any work at all because of the fact that I can't see what I'm doing. So that's how come it takes me a long time to get things done. That's how come sometimes there are massive delays with projects getting started or done because of the fact that I have days where I can't see very well. Therefore, I can't work on projects. So this week was one of those weeks. I was having a very bad eye week. So I have an appointment Hopefully next week so that they can take a look at that and maybe book my next surgery. But anyways, the reason why you're here isn't for me to ramble on about my health. It's to see what's in the box. Uh, what's in the box? Not what's in the fucking box? With that little um, prologue that I gave you, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of context as to what we are opening up today. So yeah, this is a special little box that I ordered a special little item. Ugh. Let's see if we can get it. I'm going to take it off from take it out off camera. So just give me one second. Oh, just broke the box. So I just broke the styrofoam box. So there's this base. Let's take out more of these things. And there's and there's this thing. And I think that's it. Yep, the rest of it can be recycled. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Do the best that you can to take care of our environment because it's the only one we got. So yeah, so what I've ordered today, or at least what I've received today, is this. A Stargate. Isn't that awesome? Now, this Stargate in particular is supposed to have like an infinity gate. Oh, sorry, the, with the mirror that sits behind it, it's supposed to look like uh, an infinity gate. 
So let's take a look at all the pieces that we've received. Pretty cool. And here's the base part of it. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than this, but hey, for the price that I paid for it, I can't really complain. Not quite uh, the size I was expecting. I was expecting it to be larger, as of course, like usual with pictures, they, they look larger than life. And I guess this is for the mirror when I put in the Stargate. So, before we take care of all those things, which are most likely going to have to be done off camera, I'm just going to pop this right in here. Oh, that's that's really cool. Really cool. Get rid of some of that styrofoam. The only thing is, though, this might be too small for it to be a 118th scale Stargate where I can put my 118 figures through it. So let's test that out. Let's take a look here. Let's grab a figure. Well, let's go with. Uh, how about we go with this guy? Or this girl, rather. She looks cool. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna pose a problem. I was expecting it to be bigger, so it's actually quite small. It doesn't quite look like a star game. What's this thing here? Is this a mirror? Oh yeah, so there's these two, I guess, mirror parts. Oh, there's the camera. Okay, so we'll have to figure out exactly how this all works. The unfortunate thing is they didn't give you any instructions. Not like it would be that hard to figure out, but... So what I'm going to have to do then with using this Stargate and with a lot of my pictures, I'm going to have to shoot this separate from my figures so that it looks larger than it is because this is just... It's too small. It's disappointing. I was expecting it to be bigger, but that's just, that's just way too small. It's not even... It's like what? half half her size okay maybe a third because like i want them to be able to just walk straight out come down anyways so yeah this is actually a, a figure that i'm working on her name is juna faust and she is the sister of Jaden faust and this is a uh, Jaden faust's backstory i'm actually working on right now for low down productions action figure that they created this is actually going to be a spin-off backstory based on that character so this person here is Jaden Faust's sister and stay tuned for the story on my Instagram and maybe even on my YouTube in regards to that so anyways I'm going to stop the camera here so here are the two halves of the Stargate combined. Now when I put these together I noticed there was a little hole here and that's where the lighting has to feed through in order to be able to wrap around the inside of the Stargate. However, well, in, with my case, I don't know if it's going to be the same with everyone who buys one of these, is that the top hole here was too narrow. So the bottom part was wide enough for the lights to feed through, but then this top part they weren't pulling through. So I had to you go in with my drill widen that hole a little bit and then I pulled it through with my tweezers. So now this lighting here, so this actually sits on the base like that and then this lighting wraps around the inside of the Stargate and it looks like it's going to be longer than the inside of the Stargate so I may have some excess lighting that I'll be able to cut off with this strip uh, and maybe even use in another project. And then there's this smaller see-through, I guess, uh, one-sided or double side, maybe one-sided mirror, and that's going to sit here. So I have to push it through on that side, which is probably what I should do before I stick this down. Uh, so then that way the hole's wide enough from the back end for me to slide this through. And then the last part we put on is this mirror, which sits on the back of the Stargate like that. And if you'll see at the back, there's this double-sided tape to affix this mirror to the back of the Stargate. Now, I'd love to be able to do a lot of this stuff on screen, but it's really hard for me to work on these things while I'm uh, watching it through my camera. But we'll try. 
So first let's peel the protective film off of this bad boy. Yeah, I'm never good at pe peeling these things off. I guess that's what happens when you have no fingernails. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Nice and shiny. Is there a protective tape on this side? Doesn't look that way. So yeah, nice and shiny, but I should be able to, yep, yeah, see through it. So what we do is we put the shiny end in first. So actually let's let's actually put the lighting on that side. And then we'll slide this in here. I believe it should just fit into place like so. Bam! Bob's your uncle. Okay, so for the lighting part, I'm going to have to do that part off screen um, as I really have to get up close into this part here to make sure that I adhere the lights properly on the inside. So all you have to do with these types of lights is peel off the protective tape uh, the protective tape that covers the adhesive and then you just I'll just be sticking this down on the inside okay so we're back and we've actually glued it down and cut off the excess not a huge amount of excess but hey maybe this could be used someplace else so then now our next step is before I actually affix the mirror to the back part let's just make sure that everything's working first not like that I would really be able to fix anything if it wasn't, but let's just take a look. Ooh, yeah! So there's what it looks like with the lights on. And then once we add this back part, this is what it's going to look like. I was expecting it to look more like an infinity gate. Maybe that, that other glass I put it in backwards. Still looks pretty cool. It does look like you can enter it. The only thing that's disappointing is that uh, the one I really wanted to get, I'm sure, is really a lot more expensive. And I'll, I'll eventually get it if I can find it. Um, is the one that actually operates where you, you see these light up and they I believe they move and everything. And that one is either, I think it's 118 scale. It could be 112 scale, but I think it's 118 scale. But yeah, that one has these, uh, the chevrons, they actually light up. And then the uh, in, inside the actual wormhole, you'll, you see the lights actually rotate and they have all these patterns and things like that, which is really cool. The base is actually very similar to this one. And there's the DHD that actually goes here uh, so that they can call up their the, the, the next gate. But either way, that's not important. It, it's working, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Again, like I said, I'm disappointed that it's it's small. Uh, like this, this figure just looks tiny in comparison. But, I don't know, maybe I can make it work somehow. Maybe we could say it was a smaller species that built this one. Uh, so they just have to duck down when they, when they come in. But yeah, it's actually, it still, it still looks pretty cool though, in my opinion. And um, kind of glad, kind of glad I got it. Not bad for 20 bucks. Was it 20 bucks? Actually, it might have been a bit, a bit more. But uh, it wasn't that expensive. And it's made out of resin, so it's actually fairly sturdy. It does, it it's good quality. Like I'll, I definitely will have to admit that the quality is very good. The sculpting is very good, uh, so I am quite pleased about that. The the weathering on it's quite nice as well. Um, but uh, like I said, it's, it's really just the size. That's my biggest pet peeve. But even that's just a minor one. But let's remove the film off this mirror and glue that onto the back of this, and we'll call that a day. Okay, so I've removed the adhesive that was on the back here. You can see there's double-sided tape there. One here, one there, one there, and one at the bottom down there. And so those are for the mirror, so when I put that into place. So let's remove its protective film. Oh boy, this, this, 
I don't know about you guys, but doing this for me is so satisfying. All right, so seeing how I have my finger at the bottom here, what I'll do is I'll put this one, that part down the bottom. Let's raise that up. Let's glue it, stick it into place. And that's it. We're all set. We've built our very first Stargate. Now I'll be in the world building. I'll be making sure that uh, this is a Stargate that you that is going to be used in my story. Uh, okay, so with the protective film removed at the back, it kind of looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit more like an Infinity Gate, but that looks really sorry a Stargate. That looks really cool. You guys, can let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you've liked what you've seen today, by all means, give me that big old thumbs up. Share this if you think there might be people who might be interested in this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.